What is going on beautiful people? It's your boy Blue and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is Flight Control Replay version 5, which has been completely redesigned. For those who don't know, Flight Control Replay is a third party application that can record and replay your flights in Microsoft Flight Sim. But that's actually not all, it does a lot more. If you own the old version, you already know that. But the new version 5 features include a new user interface for both Microsoft and P3D, customizable size and transparency of the UI, MSFS toolbar integration and in-game controls, cinematic replay with automatic camera switch, ghost plane feature allowing you to fly formation live with AI traffic, PMDG and Phoenix A320 support, next-gen memory management for a performance upgrade, landing touchdown report, and crash to desktop recovery. Okay, listen closely. Flight Control Replay is easy to install. Just run the installer exe file while the simulator is closed. After the installer is done, run Flight Control Replay exe as admin. Go to Options tab and at the bottom left, click Configure MSFS Toolbar. This will install the toolbar into your community folder. Now you can start Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, before you can record, you need to make sure that you are in your aircraft and spawn into a free flight. Now, when we look at our flight control replay window, we can see that we have a green dot. That means that we are connected to our simulator. To the right of the green dot, there are three lines to switch between the different UI sizes, which is very helpful and easy. Underneath that, you'll see we have a bunch of options. We have load, play AI, relive, all that. We'll go through that one by one. But the first thing we need to do to really just get going is go to options. Now there's a lot of options here, but we'll start with start recording automatically if you fly. Now this is optional. Uh, I personally don't use it, um, but you can if you want. So if you want to say, hey, I want this to start recording automatically uh, if I go above 100 feet or below 100 feet. So I click on here, we can say above or below. So every time maybe you're doing a flight, once I reach below, you know, 500 feet or so, I'm not sure if it's an MSL or AGL, um, but Flight Control Replay will automatically start recording for you, which is actually helpful. That way you don't have to, uh, you know, look away from your simulator to go and try to set up Flight Control Replay. So I'm going to uncheck that. The next option is choose default file path for recorded flight. So if you check this box, that means that every time you hit the record button, it'll automatically save that replay or that flight to this location. Right now, by default, it's in, you know, Flight Control Replay's install location, but I personally prefer to have this on my external hard drive in a place that I call FS Recordings. And I hit that and that way that'll automatically be saved to that file. And now below that, there are a lot of other options. We have automatically load replay after you record. So after you stop recording, it'll automatically like you know, teleport you back to the beginning of that recording point and start playing from there. I have that unchecked. Uh, you could also have automatically export flight data from Google Earth and Maps format. So if you want to be able to see your flight track like on Google Earth, something like that, you can actually export that data, that KML file uh, for that reason. You could also have load replay without loading initial flight situation. Now what this means from what I understand is to say I you know, have a rainy approach that I recorded. Uh, whenever I load up this replay, it's supposed to, from what I understand, it's supposed to load up not only the flight and the flight path, but the flight situation. So the weather, the time of day, things like that. So you won't actually have um, control of that. So with this checked, you can actually go through in your replay and say, hmm, I wonder what this looks like if I were landing at night. And you can record that and do whatever you want. Uh, from there, you go continue live flight starting from a replay point. Now this allows you to, while watching your replay from any point, you could just kind of restart your flight from there. We'll talk more about that later. Flight control replay always on top window. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't have it checked, but if you only have one monitor, that may be helpful. Enable record slash play multi objects at the same time. That means you can record, as it says, multiple objects at the same time uh, in your scene. Recovery crash to desktop flight control replay will save a recovery file so you can resume your flight after a crash to desktop. And this is super helpful. I have personally not tested this feature. Um, I'm assuming you would have to have the flight already recording to do so. I'm not sure. We have to come back and revisit that. And there's also enable transparency mode. If I hit enable right there and then I go down, hit save and close, you'll now see that my flight control replay is now completely transparent. Now, this is super helpful again for people who only have one monitor, one screen. 
I'm gonna turn that back off. Next up, we have record replay mode. We can now choose how we want flight control replay to track our flight. So we can either record the airplane only, the airplane and the camera movement. So as you move your camera around, it'll control all those movements. Uh, or it could be only the camera movements. Maybe you want the camera to move for some reason and you can still control the plane. I don't know. Um, I just set it to airplane. So those are the general settings. I'm gonna hit save and close. And we're just gonna go ahead and start and record us a little flight flying in a pattern in the PMDG 737 so that we can check out some of the other cool features. Okay, we're ready to go. To start recording your flight, all you have to do is hit the big red button. And now you'll see it says recording dot dot dot. That means it's recording. And all we'll do is release our brakes. Give it power and send it. Positive rate of climb. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. All right, we've exited the runway. We're now taxiing back to parking. And I can actually, I mean, I don't have to stop. You can either just hit the stop button or stop your plane. It doesn't really matter as long as you just hit stop. And that will end the flight recording. It'll now say load a flight or play a situation. So I'm just gonna hit the brakes here. So on the menu here, I'll click on load. That's gonna now pop up my uh, files where I'm saving all my replays. And this is my latest one. You are able to actually, you know, name them yourself if you want, but this is my latest one. So I'm gonna hit open. Okay, now we're loaded back into our scenario here. All we have to do is just hit the play button. And now you kind of hear all the buttons going back into the places that they were when we started the replay. The flaps are going into the position, the throttles are going into position, lights, everything like that. Let's jump to the outside view. And now we can just sit back and watch our flight. You can record a entire flight if you want to you could just record a few minutes or a re or a you know a section of something that happened if you like there's a lot of really cool options there that you can do you can see on the actual flight control replay ui it's also showing the time the date uh the current altitude the pitch bank angle uh vertical speed and landing rate you actually see that when you actually land you can see that on there i believe you are able to open and edit the text shown in the simulator haven't actually tried that yet but it is possible you can speed and slow down the uh the replay you can hit pause you can rewind you can skip to the end skip to the beginning skip to the good part whichever is up to you there's a rotation a little bit of a tail strike and you'll notice that flight control replay does record again the aileron position the flat position and the gear position as the gear is now going up just like I did when I did my actual takeoff. And the plane is going to go ahead and fly in a bit of a circuit. And we'll just... It'll land, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just that simple. Again, we can hit pause and say, hey, I want to see that again from a different angle. So we'll just hit re uh, rewind. Now, you may see the gear is not down. Um, the control services and gear won't actually apply until you hit play again. So we'll hit play, and we'll see our gears coming back down. It's kind of awkward, kind of weird. Um, that's just the way that it's been set up. And then what I can do is I can actually go back into the inside view and I can now watch this from the window seat with the same replay. All right, so if we pause it right here just for a second, we can go back into our options and now we can go over to audio. Right here, you can go to record audio during flight recording. So that basically means your microphone audio. Video, similar concept. You can actually record a video with flight control replay. You don't have to use OBS or NVIDIA or something like that to do it. You can actually use this right here and in fact we go to save and close this option right here this red um camera is allows you to start and stop video recording so it's not just the flight recording it's actually recording a mp4 file so camera msfs allows you to override the default camera settings as far as the camera speed momentum rotation things like that it's actually really helpful if you're looking to get like a really slow cinematic pan effect or something like that so i definitely recommend giving this a try but it can be a little bit finicky so be careful with it and our final two sections are keyboard shortcuts for our player and cameras and one more really interesting feature is this button right here where it says cinematic are also if you go into the in-game toolbar it's the cinematic R here as well if you click on that 
it would actually automatically switch between different camera views back and forth interior view outside view and you could actually watch the entire flight plan or even entire flight i mean what you can watch the entire recording just like this which is actually pretty cool okay and another cool feature that you can actually do and actually like this one i probably don't use this one enough like you know say you went out and had a you know a pretty rough landing and you want to give it another try what you can do is you can actually we'll go to the inside of view for this we hit relive we can actually continue flying from where we left off so now i am actually in control of the plane again completely my controls i have controls over the throttles over the controls everything so now i can come in and attempt to see if i can get a better landing than i did the first time so kind of fighting the yoke here trying to get back stabilized here we come over the threshold we're gonna kill the throttle hopefully the gear is down <laughs> it is beautiful and reversers and I'm gonna show you the ghost function now when, when flying in smaller aircraft it makes a bit more sense uh, but we're gonna hit plane ghost and now you can see it has now duplicated our plane there's two planes here now they're out on top of each other that's kind of weird kind of unrealistic um my goal is to see if we can get this plane over there on the other runway wouldn't that be cool so let's try that out i'm gonna go over to options ghost plane and altitude offset will be the same so it'll be the same altitude as us okay so it took me a little time to get the right numbers but i went to options here on ghost plane I've set my altitude offset to zero, so same altitude offset degrees to 90. I don't really understand how it's deciding the degrees. Maybe it's like runway heading and whatnot. Uh, and then I've set the distance offset to 037. So now if you look over there, I'm just gonna hit save just for a second. And after you save this, you have to hit turn on and turn on, turn off and turn on the ghost plane. Now you can see that there is now another plane on the parallel runway right over there to my right. All right, here we go and rotate. And you see it's not exactly, he's not exactly matching us. He is actually affected by the wind and the actual forces. So as we start to bank to the left, you'll see him also bank to the left. We bank to the right, he starts to bank to the right. And honestly with like fighter jets and things like that, it can be really cool to um to see and you get some great screenshots some great videos this way cool look at that you can see both of us flying together it's a really cool concept to do when flying like you know with military aircraft you want to get like some formation screenshots or helicopters I mean, you can just use your imagination you can do so much you can see he's actually even climbing above us so it's not exactly matching our altitude um he's matching our speed pretty good as we turn left here uh he's also showing up on our tcas very cool feature actually all right and the last feature i want to show you is play as ai so if i hit play ai it'll bring me to this window and now i can choose a file to load like a replay file to load so the one we just made would we'll choose that one so i click there hit open and then uh, there's an offset distance you can get really technical with that i won't go into that today but you can basically load multiple um replays or the same replay and offset it and play them at the same time as ai planes so i'm gonna hit add to list and that's now going to put that in our list and we'll hit load play as ai all right and once we hit play we can now see there is another aero mexico 737 now on its takeoff roll now that is actually a uh, it's actually playing back our recording of our first replay we played so we're in our own plane we can still interact with our own aircraft you know taxi to parking or taxi to the runway and take off ourselves but now we see that our replay is now being played as an ai and it's going to continue and do the entire flight that we recorded and that's a pretty cool feature that's not a new feature uh that was in the older version of flight control replay but it's a feature that not a lot of people know about and again, you can record multiple versions uh, of that, or you can actually import multiple of the same file and have it play, um, like have like, you know, infinite amounts of traffic playing 
in the background it's all basically your recordings very interesting the way they've done that but uh, I want to show that off real quick hopefully you guys hopefully this video was helpful to you if you like flight control replay definitely give it a look on sim market at the link in the description if you already own the old version there is a discount for those who already own the old version of flight control replay um, but yeah it's available now go check it out flight control replay version 5 and yeah until next time remember you have three choices give up give in give it all you got peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time next video we out